It's 2.48 a.m. Why are you awake? Oh yeah, because your phone fell out of your hand and onto your head because you fell asleep while watching a video of an Indian guy building an underground pool in the jungle with a stick. Oh snap, I should be asleep. But then autoplay plays the next video of a guy making an entire bamboo house with a knife. And just like that, it's 4 a.m. and you don't even remember your own name. Sound familiar? Lights! Here are four ways to stop wasting your life on mobile devices. Number one, place your phone away from your body. While it may not seem like much, you gotta start out small. But first, try it with your dad's phone and see what happens. Son! You are a disappointment to me! Then take your own phone and put it in your bedroom. And don't go into your room. See how long you can go. But it's easier said than done. Do you feel it? That urge? That sweet familiar buzz telling you that four more people you rarely talk to in person like your meaningless meme? You have to see it. You can't not see it. Insert anything else here and people start laughing at you. Cigarettes, lottery tickets, fig newtons, tapioca pudding, cake. You got a problem, man. But if it's a phone, it's okay, because everybody else does it. But it's not okay. It's an addiction. Turns out, phones trigger similar chemicals in your brain as drugs do. Phones are drugs. <laughs> but that urge isn't going to magically disappear. You've got to fight it like an addiction. Because it is. So what do you do? Destroy your phone. Good idea, but none of you will. Phones will always be around. Question is, how do you turn a negative thing like a phone addiction into a positive? Which brings us to tip number two. Use the urge strategically. Pick a task you find difficult to do, like one-arm push-ups or astrophysics homework. And make a commitment to not touch your phone until it's done. Now the urge is working for you. Number three, find a hobby. Scrolling through memes is not a hobby. Binging Netflix seasons is not a feat to be proud of. Any more than pounding fig newtons by the sleeve is worthy of a trophy. Then, when you finally find your non-screen hobby, guess what? You're probably still addicted. If you didn't sell or break your phone, move to step four. Use your phone to do useful things. Listen to an audiobook or learn a new language. Había una vez dinero a prayer you y America se salvó el fin. Play chess or watch how-to videos like this one. If you're going to pick up the phone, you might as well pick up knowledge and skills while you're at it. Just think, the average teen uses electronic media for more than 11 hours a day. That's right, 11 hours. That's more than three days a week and five months a year. You could have read more than 700 average length books. At that rate, you could have learned fluent Spanish three times and ordered burritos at the Taco Bell drive-thru like a pro. Quisiera dos burritos por favor. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Heck, you could have made $30,000 at 8 bucks an hour. But why do that when you can do this? Thank you for watching this how-to video for PragerU. Hope that you learned something new, and see you next time.